So if you want to start using the Lotus Lantern app here, well, there are a few things that you may want to know here before you start using it. So you want to start by installing the Lotus Lantern app from the App Store or Google Play. Now, once it's actually installed, you want to power on your LED strip or LED device and make sure your Bluetooth on your phone is actually turned on as well. So the app can find it. Now, you want to open, open up the Lotus Lantern app here and let it scan for any of our devices. Now, your LED strip should show up in the list within a few seconds. Now, tap the device name to connect, and once spared, the app will take you to the control screen. Now, by the way, you may need to log in or you may need to create your account when you're using the Lotus Lantern app, so just follow the on-screen steps. But yeah. So from the main dashboard here, you can pick from effects like solid color, gradients, flashing patterns, or music reactive modes. Each mode has its own set of controls, so choose what vibe you want to adjust from there. Now also most modes gives you sliders for brightness and speed, so use this to make the lights softer, more vibrant, or faster, depending on the effect you're aiming for. Now this is where you're where you can actually fine tune uh, how dramatic or subtle the flight actually feels. Now, also you could also create your own custom color. So if you want this, uh, a specific look here, open the color picker section so you can drag around the color wheel or enter RGB values to create your exact shade. Now once saved, your custom colors can be used in any mode. Now, also, Lotus Lantern also includes features like Music Sync, where you can where your lights will pulse the audio from your device or a microphone, and scheduling, which lets you set timers for when the lights turn on or off. These add-on make the setup feel more dramatic and hands-free. But that's about it. So hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.